Hey everyone, and welcome to the Cosmic Classroom. Today's show was made especially for our students and teachers at Montlou Academy of Technology, just down the road from us here at High Point University. Before the stay-at-home order went into effect, we were able to travel to your school and take a panoramic image and put it into our special astronomy software, Starry Night. If we look at the front of your school, we're basically looking towards the north. So west is to the left and east is to the right. So as the sun slowly sets, we'll be able to see which stars and constellations are visible from your school this time of year. If you look low on the horizon in the west, you'll see Taurus the Bull currently setting. And just up into its right is the constellation Auriga, the Charioteer. And a little bit further to the right is the constellation Camelopardalis, the giraffe. And directly to the north is the constellation Ursa Minor, the little bear. And if you look a little bit to the northeast, you'll see Draco the dragon. And now let's jump back to the constellation Ursa Minor, the little bear. It contains a very special star in it called Polaris, the north star. To see why Polaris is so important, let's go to a movie of the Earth rotating or spinning in space. It takes about 24 hours for the Earth to spin around completely once on its rotational axis, shown here. The blue line marks the North Pole, the yellow line, the South Pole. If we rotate our view so that we look directly down upon the North Pole, you can see it, and also the South Pole, are the only two points of the Earth that don't move. Every other location on the Earth, every continent, country, island, ocean, moves around in a circle as the Earth spins. And that has one major effect. What we see in the night sky changes because our perspective changes. The most important consequence of this for you is that we find the sun rises in the east every single day as the Earth rotates, and the sun will later set in the west as the Earth continues to rotate in the easterly direction. Likewise, all of the stars in the night sky are continuously moving as we on Earth spin around in a circle. The stars rise in the east just like the sun and they also set in the west. But there's one star that you'll notice does not move, and that's Polaris. To find out why, let's travel several hundred light years away to visit it. Let's go! As we approach Polaris, you can see it's a yellow supergiant star, nearly 40 times the size of the Sun. If we pan our camera around and look back towards the Earth, and we magnify that image, you'll see that we are looking directly at the Earth's North Pole. What does that mean? That means Polaris, the North Star, is the star that's directly above the North Pole of the Earth. That's why we always find it in the North, and that's why it never changes its position in the sky. It's the star that's directly above the rotational axis of the Earth. And now let's jump back to your school where you see Polaris being circled by all of the other stars as they rise in the east and set in the west due to Earth's rotation. Polaris, however, remains stationary, always telling you which direction you can find north in. For that reason, it's been used by humans for a long time as a navigational tool, telling us which direction north is and also how far north or south in latitude we are on the Earth as we'll see in a later video. It's important for you to figure out which direction you're looking at, and north is always a good one to find. So what we're gonna do next is teach you a way to always find Polaris in the night sky so that you know which direction north is. And that method requires you to find first one of the most famous collections of stars in the night sky, and that's the Big Dipper. It's actually not a constellation, but what's called an asterism, a subcollection of stars that's a part of a bigger group of stars. In this case, the constellation Ursa Major, the Big Bear. Now, the Big Bear is not that far away from Ursa Minor, the Little Bear, the constellation Polaris, the North Star, is a part of. Now, Ursa Minor is not necessarily the easiest constellation to pick out, so if you want to find the North Star, your best bet is to find the Big Dipper first. It's one of the most recognizable patterns in the night sky. It looks like a giant dipper or a ladle. 
Now locate the two stars at the very end of the scooping part of the Big Dipper, in this orientation at the top of the screen. They're called Merak and Dubi. Yes, you heard that right. That second star is called Dubi. If you draw an imaginary line from Merak to Dubi, and you continue moving in that direction, you can scooby dooby doo scooby dooby doo your way over to Polaris, the North Star. <laughs> So there it is. That's how you can use the Big Dipper and Polaris to figure out which direction north is when you're outside at night. The weather looks great in the Piedmont Triad the next couple of nights, so ask your parents to take you outside shortly after sunset once the sky is dark to see if you can locate the Big Dipper and Polaris the North Star. With that, thanks for joining us, and as always, keep looking up.